Okay, this is the energy vibration reading for the birthday peoples. Um, the people who are having birthday from um, uh, um, the 25th until the 31st of December. I'm so, so sorry. It is, I have been really, really, really so busy. I have been um, so busy. I'm so tired. But I have to get these out because we are looking at the last week of the year 2017. And for you, birthday people, this is going to be a wonderful, wonderful um, time because what is happening is that you're ending the year. Um, this month of December is uh, such a wonderful, um, easy month. It um, carries the energy vibration of nine. Um, the, which is uh, um, the energy of the number nine is really 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 a wonderful energy so um, whenever the energy of nine comes in it is a time of solitude it is a time for solitude and whenever this time of solitude come in because number nine is the energy vibration of um, a water sign so it's going to be a water week and it's going to be a week of solitude which is so positive because what is happening is that you're seeing here that with this solitude that is happening in this week it's the last week of the year 2017 and this year just happened with such an abrupt ending which is just so unbelievable you would not have expected that this year would have ended with such an abrupt just you know it's just uh, 52 weeks so I want to say to each and every person out there you know thank you for supporting my channel thank you for all the people who has reached out in this year for a reading from me I'm sorry for the people who got their readings late but I am so busy because I was doing so many things this year this year was a year for me which is a year of transformation and um I was transforming my own life so that I could bring out um, something much better for um, the people who are really depending on me each and every week for the readings and the monthly readings. Okay, so um, the year readings are going to be uploaded after this weekly readings. Um, so um, you can look out for the year 2018 readings. Remember, if you'd like a, pos um, a personal reading, it is better to connect with me via the website and, and place your orders I only do orders via PayPal okay because I find that PayPal is one of the best uh, um, modules because I stopped doing uh, clarity because when people call me I'm unable to do the call, uh, whenever they want to do their calls I'm unable to like stop doing what I'm doing and do it so this week is going to be an emotional week but a week of um, 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 solitude and for you guys this is the beginning of your year 2017 so if your birthday falls on a Christmas day Merry Christmas Happy New Year um, this is going to be wonderful so um, happy birthday um, you know to you guys and really just enjoy this year is going to be a year of solitudes for you guys but a year of wonderful things because I'm looking at this and I'm seeing like wonderful situations coming out for you guys it's all about work it's all about success it's all about fortune coming up in this year for you guys I'm giving you guys um, a three spread because it's the last week of the year I'm so grateful for your help and support all that you have done for me um, remember there is um, a lot of deceitfulness so you Capricorns um, in this week there's going to be a lot of deceitfulness uh, for you guys so be aware of this because there's a lot of deceitfulness that is going on there's a lot of hate and deceitfulness um, that I've seen the energies have changed but there is you know not to worry about the hate and deceitfulness because you're going to be a star you are going to be a star and what is going to happen is that despite of the hate and deceitfulness and the envy you're going to become a star and the Sun is going to come out so your life is going to be a light to begin with so this year for you guys this is a year of 2017 and it's going to be wonderful because you have the energy 
of the star and the Sun coming out so this is going to be wonderful and positive for the beginning and um, for this year for you guys okay so let's move on and let's look in your reading because this week begins from um, the 25th until the 31st so we're really really ending this year in just one hit there is not the beginning of 2018 because the energies are just going to be just so changing and you can see it in um, all the energies that are coming up that there's so many changes that are coming in and it's like the universe um, is changing everything and you can see this happening so for you birthday peoples um, a merry Merry Christmas Merry Christmas to each and every person remember to listen to your Sun moon and rising sign please like share these videos and thumbs up please make sure that these videos uh, um, circulate and comes up I see a lot of people doing um, these happy birthday videos which I started but whatever um, but um, make sure that these videos reach everyone okay congratulations for the people who were born on the 25th because you have the energy of the Empress who is going to work with the energy of the the hermit um, a lot of money and a lot of abundancy is going to come into you this year your materialistic world is going to change like magic this is going to be extremely wonderful I want to say to you guys be careful of being getting pregnant this year because the fertility this year is a very fertility year for you because this is the beginning of your 2017 because last year what you have just left out um, before your birthday was 2016 and now this is the year 2017 so um, your financial abundancy is going to be so wonderful so positive the other energy that you have to work with is uh, the energy of the moon and this is a wonderful energy because uh, uh, the energy of uh, um, hold on transition sorry it looks a strength the energy of strength because the deception is there and because of the deception being there the energy of strength comes out and then what is happening is that with the abundance that is about to come in there is going to be a lot of jealousy but you are going to see you have the energy of the three of wands so whatever situation that you have been dealing with in the last year you're going to leave that behind and you're looking forward because good things are about to start for you in this year so this is going to be wonderful okay so congratulations again you know I'm using this deck but I I just got this deck for my birthday and um, I love it because I had this deck that I use for the year card but I'm not so happy with the black <laughs> the black border she has in, done an injustice to this card she should have never she should have keep it with the white border you know because it's the same deck all right let's go further congratulations for the people who were born on the 26 a lot of financial emotional um, this is the energy of emotional withdrawal so it's going to be an emotional year for you guys it doesn't really matter because it's going to be that it's a year of solitude so you're going to move yourself away from certain things and you're going to see positive energies coming up in this year it's going to be um, a very emotion but good emotions is going to come true because you have the number eight and then you have the energy of the angman so you'll be um, working towards um, you know um, finding yourself and finding your true divine part way and this is going to be good because um, you have whenever your emotional withdraw your you know you know removing yourself from society and kind of looking back at things that are happening to you and finding your true inner peace and your true inner light especially when it comes on to your career because some people are going to really change their career in this year so you have the number four and the number three and the number eight so you have eight three and four so please remember to hold on to these numbers because you can use them to make appointments and that sort of a thing in this year as we move forward um, there is a lot of emotional um, a lot of people are going to be dealing with emotions in this year 
so for the people who were born on the 27 you have the number seven also this is good this is that a lot of good opportunities are going to be coming in so if you're looking for work if you're looking to change your career in this year it's going to be a positive year to do that because there is a lot to choose from if it's career if it's relationship no matter what it is there is going to be and it's mostly career because here you have the energy of the air offense so what is happening is that there is a debt and transformation to something in your life and with this debt and transformation there is going to be um, a lot of opportunities a lot of organization a lot of new um, situations that are going to be coming out and these people are going to be connecting with you and going to work with you um, in a positive way and this is going to be very good because um, there's a lot of deception be aware because there's going to be a lot of deception especially when it come on to working with group of people and that sort of a thing people are very deceptive because they will want to bring you down okay so your number is going to be seven and four and five seven four and five five seven four and five you can use the number 13 but um it's 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 with energy vibration everything just go to zero uh, from zero until tinder but you can use the number 13 so you can use five seven uh four and thirteen okay as we move on we're looking at the people who were born on the 28th of December and you have the energy of mental conflicts in the reverse form and this is the best way you can have this card whenever this mental um, conflicts is in reverse that means you're seeing things clearly that means um, you or you know things are um, happening and you're understanding why they're happening and you're seeing things in a positive positive way as you look at this you are going to be um, seeing a situation um, what happened an organization whatever had happened um, with a situation in your life you're going to see that this um, situation um, that transpired with a um, the lovers so a lot of you are going to have situation that is affecting your um, your marriage or your long-term relationship a lot of people are going to have that and for some people you're going to be divorcing or for some people um, you or you or your partner is going to be sick and you have to be dealing with an organization and that sort of thing but some people are going to have problems with us the buying of a house something didn't go good that sort of a thing so a lot of stuff is going to happen to you that have to deal with your partner and yourself okay if you um, do not have a relationship this situation is going to affect you with groups of people and organization but the best thing about it is that you're going to be alert and realize what is happening around you because it's as it's a year of solitude so you're going to go within and see but whatever is happening know that the energy of the star and the Sun is going to carry you out because the energy of the star is going to be your wishes and dreams are coming true and the energy of the Sun is going to bring um, new energy and new situation and a lot of success to you guys okay let me set it here so let's move on to the people who were born on the 24th of December you have a lot to do with work it's going to be a lot to do with work it can be um, um, not only work but it can also be if you're married to someone who is an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius you because the energy of a love relationship comes up so this is going to affect you and um, there's a situation with a Queen of Pentacles so some of you might realize that your partner in this year has been having an affair with uh, um, someone who is over the age of 40 and that is an um, um, a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn this is going to come out you know this the, your partner might be having this relationship so it's only if you are married to someone or have a partner that is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian you are going to realize that he has been having a relationship with someone um, other than you okay and this is this is wonderful because what this is also saying for some people is that if you are a woman you are going to have success 
um, at work and you are going to meet your partner your soulmate at your work wherever you work so open up for this energy because this is going to come in this is beautiful and this is wonderful because there's a lot of success that is going to come in for the men and women in a relationship so if you were born on the 29th of December expect that you're going to meet your soulmate in this year and um, if you are you know working towards a career it's this career is going to be good very very good for you so these are good energies that are coming up especially for the men and the women it's going to be a very successful year especially in relationships for you guys as we move on to the people who were born on the 30th of December we have the energy of stand your ground so whoever you are out there and you were born on the 30th of December whatever is happening and going to transpire in this year which is another number seven because number seven is like um, you Capricorns are going to find your part your true part your Capricorns are going to find your true part but stand your ground and don't let people walk over you and as you stand your ground you're going to be very very victorious a lot of you men are going to be victorious with a lot of stuff if you stand if you just stand your ground you are going to be so victorious in a lot of stuff so you know don't use brute force and that sort of a thing just stand your ground and let people know where you are and how you are going to accept certain things in your life for the women it's gonna be wonderful it's gonna be a time when you are realizing the power that you carry within and you're going to use this power and be victorious over whatever is happening in your life in this year okay remember for a personalized reading you need um, for a personalized reading you really really need to con contact me what is happening here you have twice seven so for most of you men and women that were born on the 30th of December you're going to realize how positive things are going to work out for you how victorious because you're going to stand your ground and you're going to find yourself on a true positive part in your life as we move forward we have the energy vibration of harmony this is wonderful so whatever situation that was happening whatever injustice whatever imbalance that was there the energy of justice and this is with business and personal relationship intimate relationship marriages and that sort of a thing um, it's gonna work out so don't get divorced because somehow um, the magician is going to bring you help and uh, whatever the situation whatever that has transpired you two are really going to come together so if you know you were kept apart um, for whatever reason um, this is going to work out and the energy of the magician is coming in to bring you two back together so it's as if some of you had, um, you know, um, some of you had have um, a situation with legal matters and that sort of a thing, and um, it it has driven you apart. But what is happening is so it's a mysterious um, energy comes in and it's going to help to bring you two back together. This is very good because you have the number six, number eight, and number one. So this is this is positive. These numbers you can use to buy the lottery or use it to do something in your life because these are very 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 positive energies. So on the overall, because I really didn't need to ask any question because these uh, these messages were so clear and so positive that is coming out. There is going to be a lot of success for you guys. A lot of success because um, you have so many so many double energies, and I like I'd like everyone to write these numbers down because there's so so many double energies that are coming in the energy of the lovers there's obviously that a lot of you are going to be meeting your soulmate and twin flame because the energy of the lovers came up twice so you have six twice you have seven twice you have stand your ground and you have a um, um, the seven of cups where there's going to be a lot of openings especially in work a lot of new organizations a lot of people are going to start set up set setting up their own business and this is going to be good okay um, work is not going to be a problem for you guys whatever is happening this is going to be good because the Emperor comes in good so you have a double four a double six a double four a double six a double five and a double seven 
Oh my god you guys are and seriously I mean you guys are going to have a wonderful year so write this down again you have double four 44 um, you have double five 55 and then you have double six 66 and then you have double seven 77 so this is going to be good um the energy and double eight 88 oh my god i just saw this um the energy of justice and uh, the energy of uh, um emotional so whatever that has been injustice or whatever that was unjust in your life is going to be justified it's, it's, it's as if an, a miraculous uh, um situation is going to happen where it's as if the universal angels and guy comes together to orchestrate something so let's say that you um, you're in a relationship and things started to go bad and that sort of a thing you're going to realize that um, something you know just unexpected is going to happen and this is going to help out and a lot of you are going to have to deal with a lot of organization because it's as if you're clearing karmas and what is happening is that you have to deal with a lot of organizations in this year and it's going to be good because it's a, um, the last the ending of this year and this is going to be positive because by dealing with these organization and these sort of a things you're going to see a positive wonderful energies are going to be coming in and this is going to be good I'm here really trying to figure out which one of the cards I'm going to use first because I'm using my two favorite decks I've had like these decks for a very 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 long time and uh, um, this is my most favorable deck that I am going to be using because I think that this is just so so positive so I'm calling up on the wisdom of the oracles to show the birthday people the people who are having birthday from the 25th on the, the 31st um, to show them what energies they are going to be dealing with yeah because deception is there a never-ending story because deception is here remember that um, you are going to be dealing with a lot of deceptions and you're going to think oh my god not again no my god not again oh my god not again okay so whatever is happening you are going to be dealing with this um, situation and you are going to find out that things um, you know just ask the universe for divine intervention because most of the time we try to do things ourselves just ask the universe for divine intervention um, to help you out of whatever that situation is so let's call upon the universe and ask the universe for divine interventions to help you in this new year of 2017 for a personalized reading please connect with me and uh, um, ask for a year reading which is just $45 for personalized reading then it's going to be more because then you need in-depth information okay so let's see what the unicorn has for you guys and the unicorns are close to you and what you um, Capricorn should learn is that uh, um, the energy of the unicorn works with you guys because uh, um, Capricorns are hurt sign people and these uh, magical horses are here to protect you Capricorns and it says I know you don't have to read it um, your unicorn is close to you and sometimes I call up on my unicorns uh, to stand beside me as I'm doing these readings and these are wonderful so your unicorns are so close to you and sometimes you can ask the unicorn to place his energy in your aura and you're going to feel so much better it's just going to be wonderful so you know do that okay ladies and gentlemen that's about it for this week I and this year I want to say Merry Christmas Happy New Year I'm wishing you a lot of wonderful happiness I'm hoping that your wishes and dreams will come true I'm glad I was able to um, do this um, um, use my cards what I got for Christmas the is these ones and know that it doesn't really matter what is happening in your life know that um, the Sun always come out okay so there's gonna be a lot of deception I'm not gonna um, tell you different there's gonna be a lot of deception and a lot of things that you're going to say oh my god again but know that after you have gone through this phase 
the sun is going to come out and it's going to even better than um, yesterday I want to say thank you for being here namaste and I will speak to you next year and you know have a wonderful new year namaste